Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Property Breakfast with me, Adrian Jones, the owner of Keller Williams in Hartley Whitney. I trust you are well and thank you as always for watching. If you could just pause now and share this with one person you know who may be interested in local news and property news, that would be a really massive help to me. Thank you for that. Lots of property news and local news, so uh, let's get on with it. Um, our good friend stamp duty can never be kept out of the news. Um, in the budget this Wednesday, we are expecting the stamp duty holiday to be extended until the end of June. It seems likely that this will only be for cases that are already agreed and in hands with solicitors, but we'll need to wait for the detail on that. It seems sensible. Uh, it brings an end to the holiday. It also means that we won't have innocent victims who are caught up in a chain that doesn't conclude uh, and leaves them in a difficult position. It may also retain or restore the sanity of local conveyancing lawyers. Um, also in the budget, we're anticipating on Wednesday the announcement of a 95% government guaranteed mortgage for first time buyers. Seems a well principled idea. Um, we've always wanted to be homeowners in this country. This hopefully will help turn generation rent into homeowners. There is a concern though that the government are guaranteeing at 95% and with a possible economic uh, fallout from the pandemic that this could be uh, a bit of a risk for the government um, on that basis. And uh, talking about prices, um, Zoopla have released their house price index for January this week and they're seeing a 12.4% uh, uh, higher interest than this time last year. Um, they think this is um, as a result of interest from first time buyers where there is now greater mortgage uh, opportunity than there was a year ago. Um, there still seems to be a reluctance from sellers to come to the market and if, if they do there is good activity and interest in property. The annual price growth at the moment is at 4.3% for the last year and they're predicting in the next 12 months uh, house price rise uh, annually uh, across the country of 1% so fairly static. Uh, house pricing. Um, in some local news, I've talked recently about the Hartley Whitney Community Hub. Um, they have a Zoom meeting this Wednesday at seven o'clock and it's for anyone who's been caught and been struggling really with working from home um, during the pandemic or indeed has been recently made redundant. If you think a chat with anybody on that would be a benefit to you or anybody you know, uh, contact Kelvin. HWCH, which is Hartley Whitney Community Hub, HWCH at gmail.com for full details. I'm including all of the uh, emails and um, websites that I'm going to re refer to soon um, with the main body of this uh, Facebook post. Um, I love the fact that our community are pulling together as well. There's another initiative being announced this week, Village Connect by the Hook and Odium Lions uh, in association with Rotary. Their aim is to engage with local people and with groups and clubs in Hartley Whitney, Hook and Odium. Um, they want to hear ideas for local projects um, that will address community issues um, and just support general well-being in the community. Some of the early ideas are a litter pick, food shopping for uh, people who are isolated or may not be able to shop on their own, a book exchange to replace the closed library in Odium, um, and they just want to um, hear from anybody who's got further ideas uh, or indeed may want to volunteer and help. The point of contact is Mark Hazel and his email address is mark.hazel and hazel is with a double L at hookandodiumlions.co.uk. Again, I'll feature that email address later. The Elvertham Hotel uh, was bought towards the end of 2019 and any local residents may well have received um, a letter from Jazstar Capital, uh, from Nazumi. Um, I've had the chance to meet with Nazumi and they have got some fantastic plans um, for restoring the glory of the hotel, but also bringing in some new facilities, uh, an event uh, venue, and also some spa facilities and some pods in the grounds. They are also holding a Zoom, uh, very popular. I'm sure you've uh, not had enough Zoom in your life recently. Um, and there's a couple of dates for that this week, which will announce the, the vision they have on Thursday between 7 and 8 p.m. or on Friday between 12 noon and 1 o'clock. It is on a website uh, which is www.elvertham-vision.co.uk. 
And if you want to register for the Zoom, uh, you just send an email to info at elvertham-vision.co.uk. Not a lot of time for Keller Williams news because there's so much other local and property news. The weather and the timetable being released for last Monday by Boris has just meant that this week has felt a lot different in the property market. Um, so if you're a buyer, register with me, let me know what you're looking for. If you are a vendor, call me. We can meet and we can discuss the marketing of your property and make sure that you are absolutely at the centre of that. You'll get the greatest level of customer service, full market exposure and ultimately the best possible sale for your home. Just to give you an idea, um, in March we're releasing two one bedroom apartments, one in Fleet, one in Hartley Whitney. We've got a fantastic four bedroom house in Heckfield and also the chance to restore a villa in the Blue Triangle in Fleet. Please do get in touch with me on adrian.jones at kwuk.com or 01252-988488. Thank you as always for watching. Look after yourselves and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday. Bye for now.